Vocal ID is um, a company that creates custom digital voices. So two and a half million people in the US alone and tens of millions around the world who are unable to speak and they use a device to communicate. And for them, they can really only sound like one of the GPS voices. That's a handful of voices. That means a little girl may sound like a, an older gentleman. Um, you know, men and women may have the same voice and so on and so forth. So what we were able to do in the lab was figure out a way to take a tiny sample of someone's voice just like an ah sustained, and then blend it with an uh, able-bodied talker that was about the same age and size, physically, and same linguistic background, and merge the sample, um, the samples of speech together, and create a unique voice that could be their voice, or it sounds more like their voice. So um, back in, I think it was in March 2014, I got an email from a young girl, nine years old. Um, told me that she um, had seen my TED talk and she wanted to um, give her voice to her sister who couldn't speak. You know, this is prior to the NSF even funding us as SBIR phase two, uh, phase one. And um, at that point, you know, I had been able to talk about our science from NSF's initial science grants and so on, but I had no way of doing this at scale, right? And so, getting this email from this young girl who was nine, I thought it's amazing, you know. And I'd gotten a lot of other emails like that from people saying, you know. Why aren't you commercializing this technology? I'm a professor at Northeastern University and I've been funded through NSF through, um, for, for the SITES division for my research already. And so I knew about ICOR and I knew about SBIR. And I wanted to really take this, this idea from the lab and turn it into a venture. So I think when we're talking to investors or we're explaining what the technology is, especially because this is a consumer product, so um, oftentimes if it was just like, oh wait, you know, I figured out how to do this voice blending technology, um, the fact that it was backed by NSF for the science initially, I think knowing that it comes from science, that there's a method here and it's not just smoke and mirrors, um, I think it's a hidden benefit certainly for the SBIR grantees for us.